Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be jumping in for the very last time into the world of Halo 4. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. I didn't realize this, but this level midnight that we're getting ready to play with Halo 4 is actually the last mission in the game. So I'm pretty sure this is actually the series finale uh, for our journey through the game Halo 4 and what a journey it has been so far. And I do believe we are hitting the point now where it is the culmination of the story. Things are gonna hit the climax. Uh, the Didact has the composer, which he's gonna use to go to Earth and take out humanity and turn us all into Prometheans. But now Master Chief and Cortana are gonna make one last good run at Didact and fight the Didact. And we know that Cortana's on her last legs. And I really hope, I really hope so badly that this isn't gonna be one of those deals where Cortana gives up her life for Master Chief, and then it ends with him getting another Cortana made by Halsey, and that becomes like this reset Cortana where he has to like start the relationship over again. Oh, I hope it's not one of those things. And and you know what? If if it is one of those things, I think I can start getting some of the 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 shade and hatred that people throw towards Halo 4 and uh, Halo 5, I guess, if that's what you've got to go through with Halo 5. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm excited to round this out with you guys. Now, uh, I will say, as tradition on Let's Play Easy Mode, whenever we do a series finale, uh, I will give you my final knee-jerk reaction in the moment review of the game. Uh, at the end, so if you'd like to hear my final thoughts on the game Halo 4, make sure to stick around uh, for the ending on this. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how we land the plane here in Halo 4. Uh, is it going to finish the arc of the Didact? Uh, are we just getting another cliffhanger, you know? Remember way back when we played Halo 2 and it was like, <gasps> it ended already? You know, is this gonna lead us into Halo 5? I mean, obviously it is gonna lead us into Halo 5, but is it, I'm wondering, is it like dangling a to be continued kind of thing? Or is Halo 5 a different enemy? Or what's the greater arc here happening? I'm excited to find out with you guys. And I hope you are as well. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and let me know also down in the comments, um, just your thoughts on this series and this game. There are so many people who have come out of the woodwork to say they don't like Halo 4 and Halo 5. And there's a lot of people who have also said that they don't mind Halo 4 as much, but they hate Halo 5. And there's a few of you who have said that you actually like both games. And I think that's great that we all have things that we love and we all have things uh, that we're, you know, that we don't like about it. And we're all entitled to those opinions. Uh, so make sure to let me know uh, respectfully down in the comments. Uh, and just remember that dignity and respect for everyone in the community. If you'd like to be a part of the community, make sure to click subscribe and uh, come on and join the family. We'd love to have you subscribe for more content. Hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to support the workings of Let's Play Easy Mode, then make sure to hop on over to the Patreon page by going to this link right here. Five bucks a month, you'll get early release content. See all these videos before they hit YouTube. Ten dollars a month, you'll get exclusive that and that and exclusive content uh, because we have games over there that are not on YouTube, but just for Patreon eyes only. And no matter what you sign up for, you can be a part of our Wednesday night live stream on Patreon. We'd love to have you join us every Wednesday night. Special thank you going out to this list of people, these amazing patrons. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support and being the first responders. I love you all so much. If you're out there and you would like to join this amazing list of people, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon today. All right, guys, I think we're landing the plane today. Uh, so let's dive on in for the very last time into the world of Halo 4. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to dive back into Halo 4. I find being honest with you guys, I'm actually terrified of this level uh, because I am assuming we're going to be fighting mostly Prometheans. Uh, we're probably going to be fighting Didact. And honestly, like this game is so hard whenever you have to fight Prometheans. 
I'm really afraid that this is going to be a very long playthrough on this episode because I'm just going to keep dying. And who knows? Maybe we'll, I think we'll probably fight the Covenant. We'll be fighting the Didact, you know, the Prometheans. And uh, from what I saw with the chapter listing, uh, this is the last mission. And then I guess there's like a prologue or an ending or whatever. So we'll go ahead and watch that and then stick around because after we're going to talk for a few minutes about the game and Halo and our Halo journey and my thoughts on Halo 4. And I'll give you my final review of Halo 4. Not that it's worth anything, but I'll give you my final review at the end. It is currently late. My I am... Uh, I have been a single parent all week. My wife's been in California. She's flying back and uh, is driving here tonight and uh, and, and coming home. My daughter's in bed. It's late. I've got, I've got coffee not to stay up with, but just to have a drink. I'm not using my Let's Play Easy Mode mug, but why am I rambling? Because it's late and I just like talking to you. All right, here we go, guys. I'm also holding it off because... It's going to be a scary level. I don't mean scary as in, like, it's a horror level. I mean scary as in, it's going to be scary watching me try to beat this. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. So I forgot that I said the last time I was going to go ahead and turn off this game and turn it back on again uh, because we had some audio glitches in the last episode. Uh, so I've turned it off and I've rebooted it and I'm hoping uh, now that we will get all the audio that we need. Here we go. Is that going to be our ship? I hope so. Also adjusting my audio levels really quickly. I noticed that this game tends to drown me out. All right. I'm assuming that's us. We're taking off. Here we go. I wonder if this is going to be a long level or if this will just be mostly focused around just fighting. There we are. Chasing him down. Approaching the Didax ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No, but the Didax are. Oh, Master Chief. That's it. He's gonna go land on him, isn't he? And let the Didact ship do all the heavy lifting. That's a good idea. Nice. Good thinking, Chief. Oh! Broadsword's hull integrity is stable. We'll be safe as long as we stay below the Didact shields. Where's the composer? I like this. Close. I should be able to guide us to it. Okay. You have not been composed. Such inoculation should not have been possible. Locking onto his transmission. He's at the composer. We can take them both out. Ooh! Okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha, okay. Broadsword's hull integrity is stable. We'll be safe as long as we stay below the Didact shield. Where's the composer? Close. I should be able to guide us to it. It's like Master Chief meets Star Fox. Um. I'm gonna be terrible at this time. You have not been composed. Such an alteration should not have been possible. Locking onto his transmission. He's at the composer. We can take them both out at once. My word, is this kind of like Star Fox? Woo! Okay, we made it this far. 
it's like a warthog run, but for a plane. And it's not nearly as bad as the warthog. Go, 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 go! Okay. Terenkov radiation luxury. We're coming out of slip space. My goodness. The current velocity. Don't die, don't die. Don't die. I died. Well, please tell me I don't have to start from the beginning again. Okay. I'll take that. Terenkov radiation fluctuating. We're coming out of slip space. Yep. Gotcha. Current velocity, hostile will achieve Earth orbit in approximately four minutes. Roger. Now, we're going to close on the four minute vessel. Those things don't blow up easy. Maybe you'd have to hit the orange part, I guess. Chief. Guys, I warned you. This might be really painful to watch. I'm not good at video games. They're Trend my favorite thing in the world to do, but. We're coming out of slip space. I was trying the left trigger out to see what that does, and um, it speeds you up. Now I know. Terenkov radiation fluctuating. We're coming out of slip space. Okay. I kind of wish there was a way it wasn't just side to side, but like I wish you could kind of turn the ship a little bit, like sideways. Terenkov radiation fluctuating. We're coming out of slip space. Velocity, hostile will achieve Earth orbit in approximately four minutes. Roger. Battle group Dakota, close on the floor. Uh, yes, okay. Infinity must have warned them. Sierra 117 at UNSC Infinity. Captain Del Rio, do you read? Ah, uh, Chief, it's Lasky. Is that you? Affirmative, sir. Where's the captain? Free count didn't take too kindly to his abandoning you on Requiem. I'm afraid I'll have to do it. Skydax got the composer. We're on a broadsword carrying a havoc grade payload on approach to delivery. When it hits me, we can the for you. it sounds Six. like there's a uh, audio glitch happening. I know that may not be the case, but it's like it's like this over-modulating distortion. ships to the composer.
Please tell me I don't have to go back. Killing the Death Star. Okay, so do you really have to get under that? Is that, is that the only option? Closed off our entrance to the composer. We can try punching a hole in that hole plate, but Infinity won't be able to get a clear shot without a crack. We'll take care of the guns. Oh, you can kind of go sideways. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I, I gotta figure out what. I guess I'm just going after this. Okay, neutralize. Okay. Um. I don't know what this means. Neutralize that. Like, am I? Am I getting this thing? Nothing's lighting up red. That's the problem. It's hard to tell what it is that you actually. Nothing's given me any indication. Oh, maybe it's from the side? Sure looks like it. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. You guys have to get it from me. Okay, I see. Got it. All right. Whatever you're doing is working. Clear up the approach and Infinity can pop in to punch a hole for you. I knew that was going to happen. Guys, I have... Warning, I may die 10 times here trying to do this. All right. There it is. No, wait. Infinity, the Dynad just closed off our entrance to the composer. We could try punching a hole in that hole plating, but Infinity won't be able to get a clear shot with all that flag. We'll take care of the guns. These, uh, Whatever you're doing is working. Clear up the approach uh, and it's Infinity not really, can jump in to punch a hole for working. you. Gosh, that is hard. Okay. Two cannons neutralized. Two to go. I want to stay still. Okay. Only one got left. Only one? Copy Cortana. We're 
weapons! Prepare firing solution! We promised to get the chief inside that ship, and I'm not about to let that man down! That's it. Sounds good. Got it! Got it, got it! That's the last one. Infinity, you're clear. Roger that, Chief. You might want to back up a little. Main battery, fire! Okay. Here we go. Clean That's hit. the end of the game. We're proceeding to insertion. Acknowledge. Okay. We'll be on station if you need us. Make sure you give the didact our regards. Infinity out. Chief, look out! How about the didact? Here are. This is the I don't out. think this is going to end well! Oh, oh goodness! I don't know if Master Chief can handle the didact one on one. Like hand to hand kind of thing. Like, I think. Now, what do we do? Well, I guess that's the end of the series. Plan B. How do you guys think Duke Nukem would do in this world? Chief, I know I'm supposed to know what to do, but... We'll have to deploy the warhead manually. How and where? I always know what to do. I always know what to do. Just give me a second. Keep scanning for the composer. We'll figure it out on the way. My first... Uh, first person shooter ever was at a friend's house when he had Duke Nukem 3D. It's time to kick butt and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Hey, that worked really well for me. Take it. Oh, good lord. That works. This gun's helping. I'll save that for, uh... We got those guys. episodes ago I was reading the comments and you guys were encouraging me that it's common it's easy normally like to just jump in when you're playing easy mode and take on a bunch of enemies at the same time and I really need to play this more like I'm playing tougher multiplayer uh, competitors or something like that where it's dodge and weave and maybe not jump in there and just try to gun everything down but try to block
here to me. Try to make this more strategic. Okay, are there any other weapons? Do I want that? This has served me well, but. Well, that's not really got that much more ammo in it, so. Here we go. Let's do this. I got so much stuff on my desk right now. All right, here we go. Oh, I think weapons are here. Nope, I thought that was a weapon. Excited. Hear some growling. Is this one thing's okay. Good. I was afraid doors were just gonna start opening up everywhere, and then it wasn't gonna feel as linear, and it was gonna be harder to work with. to stop that oh there we I'll tell you what these guys are probably the most annoying halo enemies oh he's in there now and we have no ammo. All right, let's just go get the flying thing because he's gonna restore those. I recommend entering. <gasps> uh oh no no no! Oh, I didn't even notice we were that low on ammo. Okay. Uh, we're back to this aspect of it. I will tell you, I can easily say at this point, not just because I'm in the mode right now, uh, trying to survive, but for what you're watching right now, easily, um, like hands down, and I'm not giving this a poor rating already, but when we do finish this, I can tell you, hands down, this has been my least favorite Halo game so far. Um, to me, well, I'll, I'll get into it more. How am I supposed to? Gosh, how are you supposed to get by these guys? Guys, it's happening again. It's always when I fight these enemies, I cannot control how frustrated I get. Ugh. 
This is a close range weapon. Do I want that shield? Well, that might have helped. I'll take that. He's gonna get resurrected. Something's gonna be flying around. Let's just get out of here. I won't leave you, I promise. I'll take care of you. Still good for something, I guess. I detected an energy signature ahead. I think it's a transit system like on Requiem. Find a way to access it. I'll try to route us to the composer. Put me in the system. Okay. How? Oh, right there. Is this the secret you've kept for me? This evolved Epsilon. Oh. Zydek knows I'm in the system. Hurry, go! Forget about it? Can I skip it? Can I just try to get to... Guys, I don't 
don't know if I want to keep going with Halo. It's going to be like this. If this is what 343 did, and this is going to be Halo 5 the whole time, I like this is this is a chore. Nothing enjoyable about this for me personally. Opening another portal. And I don't know how to do the bob and weave ducking for this. See, this just seems like... I see there's a few things to get behind, but... get their weapons though is the qu oh look there's more here okay wouldn't be so hard if they just you could see them, they stayed in one spot. Oh, wait, it's a. Oh, that stinks. can't lock on, I'm not good enough to hit it while it's moving. Prioritizing themselves Never. over me. What about the didact? I can't hide much longer. I'll try to move you to the composer again.
Dang, there's so many! Come on! Guys, I gotta go, 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 Where are you? The Didex cloaking the composer from me! Can someone else just play this for me? I don't... Moving. I started doing this a couple episodes ago, and I, I will tell you guys, I was, I've been really afraid of how annoying I'm coming off with this game. This game's bringing something out in me that I never ever wanted to happen on this this channel I just i don't i'm not a rage person i'm not someone who and, and this game i've enjoyed the halo series except for the warthog run <laughs> but like i uh i really don't like this the, the difficulty on this and honestly like i'm gonna have to do some research because i'm not sure i'm gonna play anymore if it continues to to do this, it's not fun for me, and uh, I'm just worried that this is what Halo 5 is gonna be, and if Halo 5 is this, I might just skip it, honestly. Reinforcements! Hold them off while I locate the composer! <sighs> Hold up. Oh, reinforcements. Shoot, it's like right here. Okay, she's getting it done. Yep. I'm supposed to do something with this? Nice job. Cortana, you're killing kill the couple. And the options you kill more. For all the time we're spending getting her doing this, not a lot's happening. It's all me. Wait! 
Anyway, Cortana, why are we just hovering here? Awesome. Over there. Can barely end of the ramp. If we time it right, our momentum should carry us through the low gravity. Chief, Chief. once that warhead is primed, the window for getting out of here is going to be pretty slow. want the light rifle because I don't know I just don't know this has more ammo to it am I gonna need that for a boss fight that's the him. didact shielded himself inside the composer the nuke won't do us any good unless we can disable that barrier find me a terminal okay I've got to do something you're not going to like What did you just do? I ejected my rampant personality spikes into the system. If I do that in each of those beams, the copies can overwhelm the composer's shielding. Uh. Get ready! Get ready? The sixty thousand enemies that they throw at you. It's not the 
The really big guys I hate. These guys, if you can get a front shot, they they go down. Pick up their gun. I don't know Before what. the Dyke sent reinforcements. What? That's it. It's working. Runs out really fast and aha. Oh man. Oh no. Can I just do it, do it, do it?
Get his head, and I wasted all my ammo there. You guys told me I got it. Is this another gravity catapult thing, or is this another... Okay, I remember now. Oh! 
Oh my word. So many. say I think the 343 version of Master Chief is underwhelming. That's just my own. How many times am I gonna have to do this stupid game? Oh, the Here we go. Sorry, I'm getting grumpy again. I'm trying to learn how to guys. Water Cortana. hear her whispers. There's no subtitles, so... What, what am I... Oh, okay. What am I doing? Objective. This is going to be more of the same. I make it? Did I make it? Or do I have to fight the didact? Or can I just put the nuke in there and blow the didact up? Did I do it? I got a bunch of achievement points. I'm getting whispers from Cortana. She's like, do it. You persist too long after your own defeat.
Whoa. Okay, that's like a horrible character for range. Well. In that case, you won't mind if we return the favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. You get up there. Don't let Cortana do it all. You can do it, buddy. Climb up. Let's go, let's go. I did that. I hit that button. I hit I hit the button. What is going on? Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. the strangest thing you've seen all day <laughs> but if we're here it worked you did it just like you always do so how do we get out of here I'm not coming with you this time <sighs> what most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Epilogue. We'll talk about this after, but I am confused. 
For some reason, I've been confused very easily in this game. I'm feeling confused right now. How? So he hit the bomb. What was that whole scene? Where were they? Was this like Star Wars of the world between worlds? Like, where was that? Was that in his head? It was like... So was that like Cortana? He's floating in space. Okay. Okay, I got questions. Infinity Actual, Pelican 9 6 -er. We found him. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. Hmm. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but. Never anything like you're going through. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that, like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. Every great journey begins with a single step. This is our beginning. Thanks for trusting us with the universe you love and joining us on this epic adventure. 343 Industries. In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to receive. 
humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will, but do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. Real? And we are hopeless to stop it. Now what? You don't get credits for that either. Man, not even 343 didn't even put credits at the end of a game. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. Well, okay guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And I'm trying to process all of this. Um, I have a feeling that the thing I said I didn't want to happen is going to happen. Um, Cortana's gone. Or is she? I don't know. 343 said, thanks for letting, trusting us to take this universe over. By the sounds of it, most of the community isn't particularly happy about the direction some of it's gone. Um, all right, I've got questions that I know will probably get answered in Halo 5 and Infinite. Did the Didact die? Because the Didact had his little speech there at the end, but it was also while we were watching that last cutscene of Master Chief going and getting all of his gear off in front of all those people, which I don't think is something most people have seen. Most people haven't seen Master Chief take his helmet off. Kind of like a Mandalorian. Um, Cortana's gone. And man, I feel for her because I mean, basically, she's been screwed up ever since the mine, the, was it the mine grave? No, the grave mine, I'm sorry. Because the grave mine had her, and, and that was like in Halo 2? Or was it, ha it was Halo 2 or Halo 3? And then, you know, she was all messed up, and then so she clearly wasn't thinking straight, and then they beat, you know, the prophets, and then they ended up on the Ford Unto Dawn. And then Master Chief went in cryo for like five years, six years. And she just sat there and went crazy while she was expiring. And I was really hoping we were gonna get her back to Halsey. And then she made mention there towards the end that it, which to me just was a gut punch, was she said, you know, Halsey might be able to get you another Cortana, but it's not going to be me. And that, like, that just made me think, like, we're going to get some reset AI that's like Cortana from the first games, but she doesn't have any memory of any of what's happened and therefore doesn't have the relationship building. And it definitely felt like he was saying goodbye to this Cortana because she got what she always wanted. She was able to reach out and actually touch him. And so that was kind of a kick to the gut if you're a longtime Halo fan. Uh, I mean, I'm not a longtime Halo fan, but I've experienced these games now and I've become attached to those too, you know? And so I want that Cortana to be with him. Um, so there's that. So. I was confused. I saw. Here's what I'm thinking. In my mind, I'm thinking maybe I'm wrong. You guys, you guys are great about uh, giving me the details. Um, when Master Chief picked up the bomb, the nuke, and he he went to blow it up, and then he ended up in that little in between world or whatever it was, and then we saw him again when he was floating in space. So was that like one of those things like in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull where the nuke sends Indy and he goes flying in like a porta potty or something like that and somehow survives and no one ever believes it and everyone made fun of that movie. 
like, I know Master Chief got upgraded by the librarian, but did he just explode a nuclear, like, bomb in his hands? And then the only thing that happened to him was he was just floating out in space. And now he's okay? And so it was all of that, like, Cortana's connection was still there with him. And so that's what he was seeing because that's what she was giving him was a vision. And that was what was left of her. And so she gave him this vision, which made him feel like she was touching him. And that was her way of doing it. And then that's it. She died. And then he woke up floating in space after holding a nuke that went off in his face. Um... Am I wrong? Like, is that, that's what I just witnessed, right? And then at the end, you know, he's all depressed. Lasky's like, you don't talk much. And then Cheat doesn't do anything. And then he walks away. And then he recites her line to him about being a machine. And then you get the Didax little uh, monologue, uh, you know, and then, but does that mean Didax is he, so he didn't die? Like, there's no indication that the Didac is dead or alive to me. I'm not really sure. Um, unless the Didac survived that fall and he's the big bad enemy for the next two games. I don't know. So I'm confused and I could definitely use some help in the comments. Now, um, let's just talk about Halo 4. Um, I will let you guys know my initial feelings. And I will tell you, they're not going to be, I'm not going to rate this game as high as I have other titles on the channel. Um, this was my least favorite Halo game. Uh, I don't know if I hated it to the level other people did, unless I was playing against the Prometheans. I, that, I didn't like the difficulty of it. And I made mention kind of in the heat of the moment like, I don't know if I'd want to play Halo 5 if it's just... I'm going to play Halo 5. I don't know if I'm excited about it, because you guys are not exactly, you know, propped it up as, like, a winning title to me. Um, but I want to experience it for myself. Uh, I want to know where the story goes now. I want to know what happens to Master Chief, and is Cortana truly gone? Like, that Cortana... Is the Didact truly gone? Where is this all actually gonna take us for the next game? Or are we, do we have a completely different story arc now? Um, but anyway, I thought the graphics were great. I was blown away when you guys told me that it actually came out on Xbox 360. I got to imagine this was towards the end of that console's life cycle because the graphics in this game were great uh, compared to the other games. Um, I thought it was an Xbox One game. And and so the graphics were great. Game mechanics were fine. I mean, shooting all that. Um, I still hold to some of the stuff I said before. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the story now. I was enjoying it for a while. And then I got thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm okay. I know some people like the Covenant because it's just always been a staple in Halo. But also, I kind of felt like after Halo 3, the Covenant story arc could have changed. They could have been in the story, but like I would love to have seen them siding with humans. Uh, and I know we weren't fighting the Covenant necessarily the way we knew them. You guys have explained that was like a different uh, tribe of the Covenant or, or whatever. Um, but uh, either way, I felt like they were, you know, they didn't have to be in there. But that said, I would have much rather have just fought the Covenant than the Prometheans. Like, I, I like the idea of the Prometheans. I like the idea of Didact. I thought that was fine for the most part. Because um, I do think that there was some foreshadowing in the terminal videos that we watched where Guilty Spark was talking about the Didact or at least foreshadowing towards the Didact. So I, w I was fine with that. Um, but the difficulty on this game just made me mad when I played it. It was so annoying trying to fight those guys that were, they could bounce around, they could teleport, they could resurrect because they had the copter thing. And whenever they came up with like the Superman punch on you and they do just about kill you every time. Um, yeah, that I wasn't a big fan of at all. 
Um, I don't hate the story. I just would have preferred a different story when it comes to the next chapter. I was glad they moved on with it. Like I did not, I, I loved the Halo trilogy. And then I enjoyed ODST and Reach, but I kept waiting like, when are we gonna finally get to like, what happens to Master Chief and Cortana? Because we, he heroically saved the galaxy and then he's just left floating in space and we never know whatever happens to them. And, and so I always knew like there needed to be another story to pick up their story arc and move it. So we, they're not just left floating in space, but I'm not sure this was the one that was my favorite idea. Um, anyway, guys, I've been doing a lot of rambling. Um, graphics, I loved. Gameplay, that was fine, except for the difficulty. The difficult, well, okay, the gameplay was fun when, when it was fun. The, the, uh, the difficulty I hated more than anything was just how hard the game was. Hello, easy mode. Um, I hate the fact that Cortana's gone. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I don't know what's happening in Halo 5. I don't know what's gonna happen in Halo Infinite. So I have to judge this based on where I am in the series right now with the story. I hate what just happened. Um, so there it is. Uh, overall, I give Halo 4, I usually do a, a one out of 10 rating. Halo 1, I think, I gave a 9.52 or a 10. I can't remember now. I have to go back and find out. Halo 2 was a perfect 10. I think I gave Halo 3 a 10. Or did I? I don't know. Uh, ODST was a 10. And I think I gave Halo Reach like a 8 or a 9. Uh, Halo 4. I'm sorry, guys. If you're a fan, please don't hate me. Uh, I am giving Halo 4 the, just personally for me, a five. I'm giving Halo 4 a five. Uh, it, it's, it's the lowest rating I've ever given a game on easy mode, but I don't hate it to the point of it being like a two. I just wish it had been better as a long awaited follow up to the Halo trilogy. Um, obviously I, I didn't like all of the story points. I didn't like what they did with Cortana and Chief at the end. And I really didn't like the difficulty of the game. Uh, oh, and can we just talk about glitches for a minute? Like I was told by you guys in the comments that my issues with the mammoth and the jetpack weren't supposed to happen. And that, uh, the, the glitch with um, the land disappearing in that same level has not been fixed since the days of the Xbox 360. And it, and then um, just in the last episode, we lost audio. Like there wasn't any recorded audio and I'm assuming, I don't know if that was an original glitch as well, or was that a Master Chief Collection thing? I don't know, but um, so there was that. Um, so yeah, it had to, you know what? Yeah, I have no guilt at all about giving it a five. I almost want to give it a four now that I think of the glitches. I'll give it a five. That's my final rating for Halo 4. It was a five. Um, speaking of five, we'll be playing Halo 5 next and uh, I'll be interested to see where the story picks up from there. Literally out of everybody in this community, guys, one person, one person said they didn't mind Halo 5. And out of all the rest of you, you have all like unanimously decided that Halo 5 is the worst game of the series and that it's like this abomination of a game and I'm gonna hate it, or at least you hate it. That doesn't build my confidence up. So I have no idea what I'm in store for. If it's as hard as this game was, and I'm just fighting Prometheans again, I'm really not gonna like it. Um, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Don't don't judge yet. 
Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I thank you very much for watching it. If you had a good time, make sure to click like on this video and let me know down in the comments. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts, your final thoughts on Halo 4 and what could they have done to make it better? Was it a complete throw out waste of time for you or were there things for you that are like, hey, this was okay, I can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. This was all right, but maybe they could have improved this or that. I would love to hear from you. Get in details and let's have a, a, a good conversation about it. Don't diss anybody and don't yuck anybody's yum. Uh, you know, if you are out there and you love this game, I'm so happy you do and that you have this. I was just sharing my opinion and now I want to know yours. Um, so make sure to comment down below and, uh, and let me know. Also subscribe to the channel for more content. Hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, if you'd like to support Let's Play Easy Mode and get access to more content as well as early access, make sure to hop on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this series. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you've been from the, here from the beginning, from the beginning of the Halo series, and you're just here for the whole journey, I love you so much. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and watching my experience with this game. It's certainly the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. The times is frustrating. The times is really fun and joyful. All of it is still a real joy to do, um, knowing that you're with me. And thank you so much for taking time with me and, uh, and experiencing this game with me as I enjoy it for the first time and you guys keep helping me out as I go along. I will see you guys when it's time for Halo 5. But until then, take it easy.